Right, Taraji P. Henson's brutally honest and emotional explanation of Hollywood's pay disparity is going viral. And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. no, don't apologize. Don't apologize. Music tonight, Taraji P. Henson's brutally honest and emotional explanation of Hollywood's pay disparity is going viral. And if can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the am I doing? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, don't apologize, don't apologize in the gorgeous world of Hollywood, where the spotlight frequently masks the difficulties that go unseen behind the scenes. Fans are in shock following a startling revelation. In a recent interview, Oprah's closest friend Gay King disclosed startling details about out the amazing Tara G. P. Henson, the actress we all adore. Please take a seat. Tara G. almost left Oprah Winfrey's highly anticipated color purple performance. For this reason, they tried to pay her scraps. Yes, scraps you heard, right, Henson, announced that she was going to give up acting along together. As she sobbed, why? Because despite her undeniable talent and expertise, she is tired of fighting tooth and nail for fair recompense. Simply put, I'm tired of working so hard and being courteous at work there. Is no fresh information about the challenges black women in Hollywood experience. Remember Monique, she faced backlash after claiming that Oprah Tyler Perry and Lee Daniels had cut her out of their lives. It seems that the issue of unequal compensation is more complex than we may have thought. Supporters are now questioning why Oprah, the wealthiest black woman in the world, hasn't used her influential voice to confront the ongoing problem of underpaying black actresses. Is it enough to just ignore that problem? Or is there more to the story watch this space? As we peel back the layers of gloss and flash to reveal the truth actress, Tara G. P. Henson, who has over 20 years of experience and many awards under her belt, caused a stir in the industry when she revealed the challenges she had. Negotiating her pay for the next film, Henson, and Gay King had an open discussion about the absurdly low opening bid Henson got for the Color Purple remake. Even after breaking past glass ceilings, she was tired of being G at the bottom of the pay scale, she cried, as she emphasized how transition is essential tensions between Henson and the producers, who included media mogul Oprah Winfrey, escalated when she made hints that she would be leaving the movie due to the poor salary Amazingly Oprah, who portrayed Sophia in the 1985 adaptation Love Loves the Color Purple in particular. When Henson took over Suge Avery's position, the conflict unexpectedly changed pitting two strong men against each other. While voicing her death, Is Pleasure Henson made it apparent that fighting for fair pay was also about advocating for the younger performers, who also required better treatment during the film's promotional events. Fans couldn't help but notice Henson and Oprah's obvious discomfort because of the intense interview which left. Little room for interpretation, the drama changed drastically when Henson disclosed the financial struggles she has faced throughout her career in an hour-long interview with the SAG Foundation Conversation. Ion, she talked about how her co-stars had huge budgets, but she had to fight for a measly $500,000 drawing comparisons to her Oscar-nominated role in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, the material that was made public expose the chronic underpayment that black actresses face. Even those who have achieved significant recognition and acclaim Henson didn't specifically mention Oprah, but her comments about strong women using their position to help others were a subtle jab at the talk show host then. Narrative painted a bleak picture of the industry and not even the influential Oprah, seemed to have backed fair wages after the emotional serious some interview. Henson shared her thoughts on Instagram. After voicing her candid ideas, the Oscar-nominated actress thanked everyone for their kind words and support with a photograph of herself with Oprah. She highlighted the importance of women of color, holding leadership positions in a range of professions and supporting one another in a post the entire. A cast of color purple regularly drew inspiration from opera as Henson acknowledged in her essay. She thanked Oprah for being a source of inspiration, guidance, and support, and mentioned that the media tycoon had a significant part in making her feel heard actress Kate Palmer promoted peace and love, which strengthened the message even more, even as the craze for the color purple begins to fade the argument between Tara G. P. Henson and Oprah Winfrey highlights the complex relationships and challenges. Faced by black actors in Hollywood, the revelation of unequal pay on social media, the emotional interviews that followed, and the reconciliation that occurred have sparked a broader conversation about representation, fair compensation, and the need for reform in the sector, although the rumors of it.
fight have subsided institutional racism. And the difficult difficulties encountered by actors of color persist Tara's many admirers believe she was deliberately mocking Oprah, and they believe all of her subsequent apologies and courtesies are merely smokescreens not only Tara G.P. Henson's, but other professionals are also facing. Challenges media mogul Oprah Winfrey is accused of mistreating Monique, a second Oscar winner, who has stepped out to complicate the current conversation about justice and representation, including her brother, who confessed to abusing her as a child on her talk show. This very private and trying time in Monique's life came to light in the same year she won the Oscar, when Winfrey proposed highlighting family concerns on her show Monique was horrified as Oprah put it. I told her I didn't want any part of that. Monique discussed how violated she felt after authorizing Winfrey and witnessing her father and brother downplay the occurrence on television in an interview with a Hollywood reporter because of this. Incident Winfrey and Monique's relationship was strained as she mentioned I made every effort to get in touch with Oprah by phoning as many individuals as I could. No, not at all. It just disappeared tensions between the two women increased when Monique questioned Winfrey about the family tragedy. During an Oscar party in 2014, Monique remarked to Winfrey, Now I need to talk to you in a dramatic moment that attracted the attention of other black women the discussion that followed descended into an ice. Tense altercation about Winfrey's list of invitees for the event I'm going to look into your mother and father being on the show because I didn't know anything about that said Monique casting a dubious glance at her despite Winfrey's apologies in this episode Monique is still demanding a public. Apology from her, this implies that there are still unsolved issues and raises questions about accountability within the organization because Winfrey and Tyler Perry don't address these charges there is. Still a lot of speculation regarding the potential motives and actions of these influential individuals, leaving the subject unresolved Monique claims that Winfrey cheated on her in both her personal and business lives in her open letter Monique drew attention to Oprah's seeming inconsistency in how she handled the Harvey Weinstein affair. The letter focused on the alleged disparity in Winfrey's treatment of those facing similar charges, raising questions about her propensity to see the positive act. Specs of certain circumstances while lending assistance to those who are accusing her and others, the conversations between Winfrey and Monique provide an opportunity to examine the subtleties of power dynamics the actress talks about how she was painted as a demanding and challenging person to work with after she declined to give free press for the film Precious at the Canny Film Festival filmmaker, Lee Daniels producer Tyler Perry, and actress Oprah Winfrey all offered advice, but this refusal mat wrecked the beginning of a 10-year battle, Monique, and Daniels' reconciliation, notwithstanding Winfrey and Perry's enmity endures giving rise to claims of prejudice and blackballing inside the business because of Winfrey and Perry's silent speculation about potential unset collaborations has grown. Among fans and industry insiders, adding to the mystery surrounding their relationship Monique's struggle is comparable to the larger challenges faced by African-American performers in Hollywood her den. Anne's for openness and public regrets draw attention to structural issues in the entertainment industry, history where racial inequality and power disparities persist unresolved disputes between two strong women serve as a sobering reminder that despite Hollywood's glitz there, are still serious issues. With unfairness and discrimination, the parallel experiences of Henson and Monique imply that Hollywood might be dealing with more serious issues, despite being widely praised for its progressive stance. The company is plagued by systemic problems like racial inequality, and power imbalances that let dominant individuals ignore or exploit weaker people the claims made against Oprah by Ma Nikki demonstrate how influential people can intentionally or unintentionally contribute to the cycle of abuse that African-American entertainers endure as we navigate the intricate web of Hollywood's limitations, Tara G.P. Henson and Monique disclose the challenges that black actresses still face the honesty of the our stories compels us to examine the systemic issues facing the industry, including unequal compensation and power relations. What do you think about this ongoing conversation? Do you believe that public figures like Oprah Winfrey should be doing more to close these disparity? Let's continue this. Dialogue in the comments below. Until next time, stay engaged and keep questioning the narratives that shape the glitzy facade of Hollywood.